Have you ever wondered who the richest man in Rome was? Well, let's travel back in time to ancient Rome and meet Marcus Licinius Crassus, a man of extraordinary wealth and peculiar means of acquiring it. Born into a respectable Roman family, Crassus quickly rose to power, not through the typical route of military conquests, but by capitalizing on the miseries of others. You see, Crassus had an unorthodox real estate strategy. He would buy properties ravaged by fire at a fraction of their original cost, then rebuild and sell them at a hefty profit. He essentially created his own market out of the ashes of disaster. Some even say that his private fire brigade would only extinguish the flames if the owner agreed to sell the property at a discount. So Crassus made his fortunes from the misfortunes of others, but his wealth was not the only unusual thing about him. Did you know that the richest man in Rome was also the one to defeat the infamous rebel Spartacus? Marcus Licinius Crassus, a name etched in the annals of Roman history for his extraordinary wealth, also played a pivotal role in the military realm. He was the man who brought the Spartacus-led slave rebellion to its knees, a feat that cemented his position among Rome's elite. However, the spotlight of victory was stolen from him by none other than Pompey the Great. Arriving just as the rebellion was quelled, Pompey claimed credit for its end, casting a shadow over Crassus's hard-won triumph. This incident sparked a lifelong rivalry between the two powerful men, a rivalry that was more than just a clash of egos. Crassus's victory over Spartacus added to his wealth and power, but his rivalry with Pompey set the stage for a political conflict that would change the course of Roman history. What happens when three of the most powerful men in Rome form an alliance? The first triumvirate, a political trinity of might and ambition, was born. Marcus Licinius Crassus, Pompey the Great, and a rising star, Julius Caesar, joined forces to dominate the Roman political landscape. Crassus, the wealthiest man in Rome, bankrolled the political careers of both Pompey and Caesar, leveraging their military prowess to secure his own power. However, this alliance was not destined to last. Crassus, eager to match the military glory of his triumvirate partners, embarked on a disastrous campaign against the Parthian Empire. His untimely and ignoble death in 53 BC marked a turning point in Roman history. With the balance of power disrupted, the triumvirate crumbled. Pompey and Caesar turned on each other, igniting a civil war that would spell the end of the Roman Republic. Crassus's death marked the end of the triumvirate and set the stage for the rise of one of history's most famous dictators, Julius Caesar. So, how should we remember Marcus Licinius Crassus? As a man of immense wealth, or a military tactician, or a cunning politician? Indeed, he was all of these, but his legacy is far more than the sum of his personal achievements. His impact on Rome was profound, shaping its future in ways that still resonate today. He played a pivotal role in the fall of the Roman Republic, his wealth and military victories often overshadowing his political maneuverings. Yet it's the irony of his life that stands out. Here was a man who had it all, yet was consumed by the pursuit of more. His insatiable ambition led him to Parthia where he met a tragic end. His downfall, as dramatic as his rise, is a stark reminder of the fleeting nature of wealth and power. Marcus Licinius Crassus, a man of immense wealth and power, yet a man whose ambition led to his downfall. His story serves as a reminder that wealth and power are not everything in life.